how long can you stay on a GLP-1? The real answer, a really long time. We have clinical data that goes all the way back to 2006, which was the very first year that GLP-1s came out in clinical practice. And we have been prescribing these to people ever since then. Realistically, I have people in my practice that have been on a GLP-1 for the last 20 years. Now, GLP-1s have changed a lot in 20 years. We used to prescribe them and you had to take them twice a day right before meals. Now we've got them so that you only have to take once a week. It's a lot more convenient. But for those of you who are nervous about starting GLP-1 therapy, just know that we have so much clinical data and we've got even more coming down the line. So why did GLP-1s all of a sudden become so popular if they've really been around 20 years? And the reason is, is that up until about four years ago, in order to get approved for GLP-1, you had to be treating diabetes type two. Now, about four years ago, the FDA expanded the indication to treat obesity alone without diabetes. This opened up the doors for so many more people to use GLP-1s, and so they became really much more popular and more accessible. So that does not mean that GLP-1s do not have side effects because they certainly can. However, we have lots and lots of safety data. So if you're nervous about GLP-1 therapy, hit that follow button over there and we'll talk more about all the things you need to know.